All right, hi everybody. <coughs> Bonka Nine Twenty Two, um, Dragon R, Dragon R Academy. Um, there's probably only yeah One Piece and GOT later today. Uh, that's pretty much it after this. So I'll probably upload the this one and Captain Earth later today. When I'm break, whenever I get up and stuff. But this is Dragon R. Uh, Academy episode nine. Actually, you know what's funny? I got a message from Pantone Twelve again. This guy, you know, he, he's been hiding around. He's been, you know, most of the time, like last couple of see anime seasons, he would message me about one anime to keep an eye out and shit. And you know, I missed him a bit, but he he came back. He messaged me about this episode. Um, this episode was called was episode nine, Dragon Dance. This was really good because this was this was like the um i guess you could say kind of turning point in a way we find out the identity of that mask man um i'm actually surprised because maybe maybe i just forgot what happened from the story but apparently yeah he's sylvia's brother like, which is kind of weird because supposedly he died he got executed he got executed for um, killing dragons, so apparently he survived somehow. Like, the fuck? so, but pretty much what happened in this episode was uh, Ash, Echo, Sylvia, and uh, Luca. They go to find Gwen because Gwen basically went to this mausoleum, which is a place where. Dragons go to rest. They they to die, so to speak. And what ends on happening is they go there, even though uh, only them though, because they tell Rebecca, "You can't go with us because you have to at least keep everything in order, because it's a training camp that they're on." And what ends on happening is they go to the mausoleum. Now the only problem with this episode was uh, tentacles. Uh, Oh, by the way, if anyone's wondering, um, before before I get into more into this episode, go check out Zoro Fanboy's video he did about Miyazaki, because like, you know, I, I was I was someone messaged me on my Black Bullet review about it, uh, and to this extent, I just want to mention this one thing. The only problem I have with certain Japanese culture is when it concerns the sister thing. The lonely thing too, but not too much, only when it considers the sister thing. There's the sister thing, and the Oni-chan thing, and the incest thing, it gets too much, and you gotta push it to a side. The loyalty thing, as long as it's not actual, you know, I don't have to think about it. But, they basically like it back on track, <laughs> They go to the mausoleum, and they get attacked by these undead, yes, I say undead, dragons. And the mask guy shows up, and they're getting attacked by tentacles and shit. And eventually what happens is, um, Echo is unconscious because she's in the, uh, the that, that realm. She's creating a new arc for Ash. And the thing about Ash is, he just got his, his, his shit wrecked by Gwen, so he's hurting. So what ends on happening is Echo creates, well not Echo, actually it's Echo's, I guess you'd call her mother, Navi, creates this light um, weight armor or arc for Ash. And it's basically this armor where it's just, ma ma just mainly used for defense. And he uses these like, it was on some Gundam shit. Bear with me. Because, like, he had these, like, mini kind of laser um, things coming out. These these things that were traveling around midair. Shooting beams at the guy, the mask guy. Um, who we find out is, so to speak, the prince of Tremont. But, and it's kind of weird how we found that out. Because it's like, you think he died. But apparently he didn't. Um, and what's on happening is those beams actually 
petrify um, things. So meaning it turns into stone. <clears throat> it turns in one of his arms to stone, and he try with, with what he has left, uh, Ash. He tries to hit him, but he blocks it, and he turns his arm to stone. He just breaks it off. I'm like Jesus, this guy's hardcore. Um, but what is on happening is they attack the area, and I think it's Luca. Yeah, Luca and um, Ash. They go. They fall off this cliff and they get Gwen to help them defeat the other dra the other dead dragons, and they take care of the house. And actually, she actually uses does the dragon dance and does this spell that pretty much purifies all the dead dragons and saves the ascension. But so basically, for this episode, all we really found out specifically was that this guy with the mask. He is the print, the 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 prince of Flashmond, supposedly. And at the end of the episode, the end of the episode, very end was very interesting because we see this blonde guy. Now, now it was kind of weird because I thought it was um, Sylvia's father, but no, it's not. According to the preview, it's not. And apparently. So it has something to do with this conference, this 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 Congress conference thing, that apparently this blonde haired guy that that you know is talking to, he's going to crush them at that, and basically after everything was saved and everything was was sorted, Sylvia is invited to this conference, and apparently her father wants to meet Echo and Ash at this Congress thing. So, that's pretty much what happened in the episode. Overall, I thought it was done well to a certain extent. I mean, as far as the events, I mean, the whole tentacle thing, no, oh, come on, no tentacles. Why you gotta have tentacles? Uh, but, um, I thought, I thought, you know, as far as Ash's arc was, that was, that was pretty awesome. You know, with the the beam, the things going around and it was shooting and, and it turned things into stone. I, I thought that was that was kind of original. Um, but overall, more more or less, this this episode was more focused on Luca and Gwen, and she she was able to fly, ride him once again, um, connect with his astral flow and do that dance and just 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 destroy all those dead dragons and shit. That was that was awesome. But it seems like next week it's going to be interesting, the episode, because um, you're going to see her father and everything. And I think something big, I can sense something big is going to go down. Something really big is going to go down. So the next couple episodes might be very interesting. And overall rating, like I, I would say, 4 out of 5 for this episode. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much the story. Now... We're like, this was what episode nine. We're 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 knee deep. We're almost towards the end of, of the spring animes, and we're closing in too. Now I should let everyone know. Data Live only has ten episodes. Just putting it out there. Sorry, but it has to be put out there. And that pretty much means is that it's going to go be down to. Black Bullet, Dragon R, Captain Earth. Then very soon it'll only be Dragon R, uh, Captain Earth, and uh, JoJo. Those are the only two movies you're gonna get for me for the summer. Besides that, it's probably gonna be a Comic Con too. But yeah, sooner or later you're gonna have that. And for the for the ones I'm reviewing, I just want to mention this. I would say Dragon R. It's doing well. I find it to be doing well. Of the ones I'm reviewing, though, I think Data Live is is uh, is probably it's it's this. Number one is JoJo. Number two, it's between these two for number two, um, Captain Earth and Data Live. But Data Live might be over it, according with what's going on with Captain Earth. And below that, I would say, I guess Black Bullet, but. Between your blackboard and, uh, and 
and Jack are. I'm not sure. But overall, like I said, good episode for this. Things might be clicking next week with, with this whole conference. I, I can sense that something big is going to go down. This Congress thing, it, it, it's it's huge. It's massive. They're, they're, they're trying to like, you know, and this blonde dude. They're, 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 they're trying to destroy the country. Terry Knott's going to go down. It's going to go down. They're going to use that ne necro... Mancer thing again, dragon, and it's gonna get really crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much the story. Bonkai Night 22. I did a lot of videos. <laughs> you guys can go check those shits out. And later tonight is GOT. The mountain. Oh shit. Ooh, guys. The mountain. A viper. Ah. It's gonna go fucking down. And you're all gonna see it. I'll do my live react uh my after thoughts. Uh, my stream late tonight. Let's look forward to that. I'm Bonkai Night 22. I'll see you guys later. Peace.